All right, absolute value functions. Last section in chapter two for algebra two. What's your name, scumbag? Graphing absolute value functions. Basically, here's the formula. You have some constant number on the outside, the absolute value in the middle, and a number hanging out um, on the outside. Uh, basically, what this means is the graph has a vertex HK, and it's the symmetric point. Um, what that means is each of those are going to come down to a point. Absolute value functions literally make a V, and that vertex point is that bottom point where the V meets Okay, that vertex point, and that point is basically H and K. It's the opposite of whatever's inside, and the number on the outside is your uh, vertex. Like I said, the graph is a V shape, and it's either up or down, and the graph is wider with the fraction, and so uh, as the fraction and steeper as integer increases. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. So when we're doing this, uh, I need to find the vertex point, which will help me figure out where to start on this. And that vertex point is negative 2, 3, because it's whatever makes the inside 0. So it's a negative 2, right? Negative 2 plus 2 is 0. Negative 2 and whatever's on the outside. The negative in front is the slope. And the slope is negative 1. So here's the point, negative 2, 3, over negative 2 and up 3. That negative 1 means I'm going to go down 1, over 1, down 1, over 1, down 1, over 1, down 1, over 1. I draw a line there. I only draw it up to the vertex, and here's why. Because it's literally symmetric. This point is the symmetric point. So meaning everything else is the exact same on the other side. Thus, in order to form that V, and I know the V is going down because it's a negative, right? In order to form that V down, I just draw a line, exact same number of spaces on the other side with the same pattern. Instead of going down one right one, now it's down one left, down one left, down one left, down one left. I draw a line and connect it, and there is my graph for the absolute value of negative uh, x plus 2 um, plus 3. I never smile if I can help it. Showing one's teeth is a submission signal in primates. When someone smiles at me, all I see is a chimpanzee begging for its life. Write the absolute value equation for this working backwards. So there's the formula. Okay. The vertex point is 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 3, meaning h is 0 and k is 3. So I can plug that in. Now, since I'm trying to find the equation, y and x still stay the same, but I need to find out what a is. Well, I know it's positive because the v is opening up, so this is a positive a here, but what is it? Well, the slope is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 2, so that means I'm going over 4, or sorry, up 4, and right 2. And 4 divided by 2 is 2, so the actual answer for the slope is 2, so 2 absolute value of x minus 3 is your answer to that graph. You're up to ugly, you can be a modern art masterpiece. Example three, grabbing something with decimals is still the same. You find the vertex point, which is two and a half, three and a half, because what makes this zero? Two and a half minus two and a half. So I go over two and a half and up one, two, three and a half, and I put the point right there. This is negative one point four, which means I go down negative one point four and over one. And I go down negative 1.4 and over 1. And I go down negative 1.4 and over 1. And it's the same on both sides, right? It's the exact same on both sides. Instead of down negative 1.4 and one to the right, it's to the left. Down negative 1.4 and another one to the left. And there is my uh, absolute value. So the domain for this is where it's touching on the x's and it's going to touch every single x. Or the range of the y's, every number on the y axis is not being touched, right? It stops right there. That's where it stops. So it's not going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5, or 6. It's going to be anything below that uh, 3.5 range. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. Okay, so it might take some time with some of these graphs. Um, remember when you're doing the absolute value and you're graphing these, find the vertex point first and then do the slope on both sides. Remember that vertex point is symmetric, so whatever happens on one side, it does it on the other. Also remember, if the front number, that constant number out in front is positive, the V opens up. 
If it's negative, then the V opens down. So remember those items when you're doing this. There's your homework for tonight. So if you have any questions or concerns, please email me. Um, this is the last section in Chapter 2. So prepare for a test soon in Chapter 2. We'll probably review for a day. And we'll probably start right in on the test. So please take your time um, with this section. If you get any extra time, I would start with some review problem. Review problems in um, your book in chapter two.